Hello everyone, welcome back to my page. I'm Avartika Kamli and today I'm going to show you how to make a volume meter while using a potentiometer. So how this works is that when you rotate your potentiometer clockwise, then a certain amount of LEDs will be turned on. And when you rotate your potentiometer anti-clockwise, then the LEDs will be turned off. I hope you like it. Let's see how to make it. Alright everyone, so before we start anything with the connections, make sure that you know that for the LEDs, the long side which is the positive will be on the left hand side of you and the short side which is the negative side will be on the right side of you. Also remember, for the potentiometer, the individual pin would be in different rows. So, you are going to place the potentiometer like this on the breadboard. If you're done with this, let's get started with the connections. Alright, everyone. so your first connection will be with your 1 kilo ohm resistors. What you're going to do is put, take one end of the resistor and place it to the negative of the breadboard of the LED which was the right and then you're going to put it to the ground of breadboard just like so. That and we're going to do that with all of the LEDs. So let's do that. Alright, so now we're done with this. Now for the potentiometer's connection, what you want to do is one will go to the 5 volts of Arduino board and the other pin will go to the ground of breadboard. Let's do that. Alright, so we are done with the connections. Now the only thing left is the wiper pin which is the middle bit. So what you want to do is connect a wire there. And then that wire will go to the A5 of Arduino board. Okay, so now we are done with the potentiometer's connections. Now what we're going to do is connect the positive of all these LEDs starting from here. So this one will go to pin number 2. And then this to 3, this to 4, this to 5 and this to pin number 6 of Arduino board. Let's do that. All right, so now we are done with all of the connections. We just need to connect the ground of breadboard to the ground of Arduino board. Let's do that. All right. And now we just need to connect the battery. So I will be giving you the battery connections in two seconds. Three, two, one, go. All right, so for the battery, what you want to do is connect the negative of the battery to the ground of breadboard and the positive of battery to the positive of breadboard and that with a connecting wire will go to the V in pin. There it is V in. We'll go there. All right. So when you connect that, then it will be coded. I am so excited. Let's code it. All right, everyone. So now I'm done with coding it. This is the moment of truth. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh my God, it's working. Let's see when I rotate the potentiometer, will the LED start glowing? Oh. All right. Oh, it's like a dance party. Okay, let's see if it... Oh my God, guys, this is so cool. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video when I post one. Alright everyone, thank you so much for watching again. Bye!